Hello and welcome back to Start Learning Numbers. And as always, many, many thanks to all the nice people that support me on Steady or PayPal. In this part four, we are still talking about the natural numbers, which we defined as N0, starting with the number zero. Moreover, we have already learned the addition is a binary operation, which means a map from the Cartesian product into the natural numbers again. And we also know some properties of this operation, so let's summarize them into three parts. The first one is, if you add zero, you don't change the element. Therefore, we call zero the neutral element with respect to the addition, or simply the identity element. Then the next property is the one we discussed in detail in the last video. It's the associative law, which tells you that for three elements, you can set the parentheses as you want. There we use the mathematical induction to prove it, and in a similar way we can prove the third property. And it tells us that in fact we are allowed to change the order. Now something like this we always call the commutative law. Okay, with this we have everything for the addition, but of course you already know the natural numbers have even more structure. For example, we know how the numbers are ordered. Ordering just means when is a number greater or equal than another number. Hence we now give a meaning to the symbol we read as n is less or equal than m. So with the visualization in mind, it should be clear how we can define this. For example, why should 5 be greater than 2? Of course, it's simply because we can add something to 2 to reach 5. With the natural numbers, it does not work the other way around. In the formula, this reads as it exists a k in the natural numbers such that m is equal to n plus k. And with this, you can also immediately say what the strict inequality should mean. There we just want that n is less or equal than m and also that the numbers are not the same. So we have this condition and this condition. Now you should know sorting a set in such a way is a general concept which has to fulfill three properties. Therefore, let's write them down. The first property is that we can compare each element with itself. In our case, easy to check, we just have to choose k to be zero. And this property is simply called reflexive. Now the second property should tell you what happens when we have the order in both directions. So when we have that n is less or equal than m, but also greater or equal, written as that, then the only possibility should be they are indeed the same. This property is usually called anti-symmetric, which just means if you have two different elements, only one of the two orders can happen. And now the third property considers three elements and tells us what happens when one is in the middle. So n is less or equal than l, but m is greater or equal. Then of course n should be also less or equal than m. In the picture this would just mean if we have two jumps that are connected, then you can put them together into a big jump. Of course this idea is what we can use in a proof of this property. And such a property where I can put these two things together is called transitive. Okay, now I think it will be a good exercise to write down a proof for this third property. Therefore, let's assume that for three natural numbers n, l and m, these two statements here are true. More concretely, this means that these two statements are true, which means we find a k1 such that this equality holds and we find a k2 such that this equality holds. Therefore, we can put both things together and say that m has to be l plus k2, but then we can put our knowledge of l in here. So we get this and there you see we can use our associativity here. Then with the parentheses on the right hand side, we can just define a new number, so let's call k1 plus k2 just k. We know the addition gives us again a natural number. In other words, we now know there exists a k such that m is equal to n plus k. And by definition, this is simply n is less or equal than m. With this, you should see we have in fact proven the implication in three. So therefore you now know the addition in the natural numbers and also the ordering. However, one important thing is still missing. It's the multiplication. And this one we will discuss in the next video. So I hope I see you there and have a nice day. Bye.